overwrite what is the latest in beef action in our hip hop um, family so should we start uh, locally or internationally uh, let's 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 take it let's start with the taxi right away taxi right away yeah um okay so the current beef that's like on my radar mm-hmm. right now it's not even a beef man um, i don't think it's a beef it is just like some kind of altercation met v um that 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 uh led to someone getting into the studio and dissing another person and um in broad daylight yeah yo man yo man um so zinga shout out to you and the work that you're doing and all that bro but they cooked you dog I'm, I'm ha! ah they cooked him bro aye, 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 aye. shame man they come on him. come on and, come and, on and, and like it's so crazy because now he's he's the master of the chop up now but then the nigga you know what happened uh what happened I, I fura, bro. Oh. I fura. oh my they, gosh they, whatever got chopped up what so, did they say to him so okay so let me just break down like the story right? the scenario so, all right so on saturday Saturday, Saturday night. Mm-hmm. Um, so the state of um, I remember. So Rick Ross just dropped a diss track to Drake and all that. Now, so uh, a shout out to Luna Florentino, dog. Um, so now he was basically commenting on the state of um, diss tracks, diss records, and all that. You know, um, should we really be going back wild um, um, for these records? True. Right? So like I, I heard the K Dot. He said a couple of lines. Even though um, I went to YouTube and got into a rabbit hole and found out what all those rhymes meant and all that but still dog it was still like a weak attempt right and people are going back wild you know um j cole did the, did, the, did the same situation but was it weak though if people are going back wild i think people only go back wild when something is good no it goes back to what i'm saying bro like it goes back to what i'm saying about like i've got a whole new generation to teach you know just because i said chantelle's wearing a yellow a, a, a yellow jersey God mercy. Oh. Oh wow. Okay, no. I see what you're saying. Okay. I see what you're saying. So some lines are just whack. Is what you're saying. They're not strong. They're not strong. They're not strong, you know. Um even even J Cole like and I'm I'm a J Cole head. Me too. The same thing as um Kate Dot, you know. J Cole like, yeah, you fell off like the Simpsons. <sighs> that was Yeah, but like lackluster at best. <laughs> and 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 um sure sure, sure like, um, he, said, he said a couple of bars but like that's not the standard and then he goes back and he apologizes for that i'm like yo dude like come on you mustn't say sorry guys this apologizing thing must come to an end you need to stand on what you said stand hip-hop. on it hip-hop. stand on it you feel me Hmm. And, um, and then Drake did a response, right? Which was also like, <sighs> oh, guys, why do people still entertain beef? Like Sibatala, guys, Sibatala. No, like, like, like for me, for me, for me, it needed to happen because now. But um, even if you're so big. Sure, but that's the thing. Like, okay, so so now, uh, hip hop on a global level, um, and correct me if I'm wrong. But on a global level, it is on a decline. So, it really like, is. So like a beef would actually, or it, and it did, it ignited everybody, got everybody speaking about hip hop. Again, so yeah. So now, niggas were supposed to basically rise up to the occasion and go bar for bar. You know, True. Bar for bar until someone misses, meets their bar for net. That's we're, we're getting there we're getting there bro so 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 um uluna florentino okay so now so now drake responded and all that now and he just a whole lot of other people your futures and whatnot <laughs> within two hours rick ross responded as well and it was like okay we hear you rose it was i you, you know but like who cares who cares so, that's so, true who cares so luna uh, was basically talking about like the standard of like should we be going back wild and all that now mm. and then Zinger responds saying that like yo dude like what about your pen is your pen you know does your can you compare your pen to Drake type Ooh. of thing you know? so, so now what he did was he found a Drake beat and then he chopped him up on that beat you know what I'm saying saying I wore a lot of the crop tops and he's talking about oh like, my god it, it, for, for me it was for me that was a proper diss track that was a proper 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 bar for bar word for word word for word rhyme for rhyme okay and um you know from the beginning to the end you know i didn't feel like there was a line that didn't like stick and um people were saying that um luna 
was trying to clout off uh, Uzinga because he's an upcoming rapper and all this stuff. Yeah. But like Luna has a catalog, right? And um, also, I, 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 I personally felt like it was dope because now a lot of people, it was the first time they actually got exposed to like Luna Florentino's music. Music, yeah. And so it was a good thing for him on his part. It was a great thing. It was a good thing. It was a great thing because now he's dropping on, um, correct me if I'm wrong, on April, April 26th. And um, and this was this for me was like I even sent him a text like yo dude like even though you didn't respond nigga it's fine um, but I was like yo dude this is actually great what you did um, I'm seeing the feedback and now people will be tuned in you, you just now need to like work more on the I didn't say this but then like in my mind now I'm saying um, he now needs to work more on the roll like on the rollouts because now the press is done you know like true you know, now he's got work to do yeah, and now he's got to, he has to like roll it out get to these interviews and whatnot you know promote the project because sure. now he is someone that is like basically on the come up you know and um he's worked with um incredible people within his space as well so it's about his time right now and hip-hop right now is in a nice place because now everybody rapping again you know every everybody yeah. spitting proper bars this bars, time bars. like bars that don't include bums and money all the time guys come on people are actually speaking up I like that. So do you think um, this tracks are the new way in? It's always been the way in. It's, all, it's, it's, all, it's always been. Um, even, 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 like, even with that whole, I'm gonna take it to the most um, classic um, diss track, right? Um, so when Ice Cube was splitting up with NWA, he had them with the diss track No Vaseline mm -hmm. before, he, before he moved to uh, his new yeah. camp. And like, he basically, I won't say he roast superstardom, but then, that propelled him, so to speak. Same thing with your Pac and Biggie beef, you know. Um, there was that, there was that, um, Pac got shot, and then, even though they said that it wasn't a diss track, but then it was um, that, that song that dropped, Who Shot Ya, you know, um, and people in the West Coast wanted Biggie to perform Who Shot Ya type of thing, you know, and then, and then Pac came back with the hit him up, and that propelled their careers, you know what I'm saying? Um, Common Sense versus Ice Cube as well, you know, Common was coming up, you know, and then, and then when he, when he just ice cream, bitch nigga with an attitude mm. you know um that was that was that was amazing. that was yeah and then, go, go, go. And then come zanzi and all that um i could say even though he's not really popping now um uh, what's that guy's name uh i even forgot his name his name just literally escaped me <laughs> um um oh, oh sick sick ass sick ass who's that guy man i forgot just everybody with a two-pack beat and that actually got him on true you know what i'm saying um earlier on this year rashid Ooh, Rashid Marawai. Okay. I didn't and, expect and that. Sure, but then now, um, but then uh, I hit him up, right? And then <laughs> funny, I'm talking about hit him up, but I, but I hit him up, and and um, and in terms of in terms of like um, the 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 response from that diss track in itself collectively with everyone that shared it the numbers skyrocketed 100 percent you know what i'm saying um so so now how do we then take all these energies okay so so also my thing um with with because uh, i saw that chop that emergency chop podcast right um where rashid advised uzinga against uh, to sing Uluna Florentino. It was like house way when you're the one that just stogie. Like, oh, back, you know? so right for, there. For me, it was just like selfish. Selfish. Uh, it was, it was like, selfish. Uh, like, dude, how house way. So, so, That's um, a lot. I don't, I don't know uh, what you asked me. I was just, I've just been talking. No, it's fine. So do you think, um, do you think that diss tracks can go too far? Because yeah, I think I think right. as much as it's 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 an easy way in to the industry, I guess um, there are some things that go too far. People are getting killed out there. You know what I mean? Um, especially these hot heads. How do we advise on that? Because as much as yeah, we're saying cool guys, let's diss each other for you know. Sometimes people take it too far. Yeah. Okay. So so um, I, I personally feel like it is um, it can only go too far until uh, when niggas make it personal. You know, um, if we keep it about the raps. But how far is personal if people are talking about people's families and people's finances that, that, and that, that, that's, you that's know what? That, that's, that's because that's also an easy way to rap and beef, you understand? Like everybody wants to say something about our mamas. 
yo mama yo mama yo mama it's like such an easy way out but like people till today people still take that personally yeah. it's like the Nikki and Megan situation you know what I mean just because she mentioned um, Nikki Minaj and Megan have been on a rant with each other I don't know if it's really really true or if it's just apparent but um, there were also diss tracks that were shared amongst the girls and Nikki mentioned something about Megan's mom yeah. and then um, everybody was just like on the case of Nikki how dare you say that you know Megan's mom has passed away etc etc and like Megan is not really commenting on this like they, these girls I think they also used that situation to elevate their careers yeah. because even now we're more interested in Nikki all of a sudden because there was a time when she did you know kind of like fall away and then um, Cardi came through but at the end of the day apparently Nikki went too far by saying that to Megan knowing you know but at the end of the day you guys guys it's still just a hip hop game you understand it's and it's also it's not that personal Megan's not the first one to lose a mom you know what I mean so it's not it really doesn't go that deep and that far and I don't think people should lose a following because of it and people do like Nikki's ratings also did go down a bit and Megan's went up a bit but it, I think it was also like a sympathy card that yeah. was played because because I don't know maybe they were helping each other you know because sometimes Nikki p- plants herself as a villain sometimes she's not sometimes Cardi's the villain yeah. sometimes now Megan is the because she's I think she's the youngest as well of the three women um, now she's more yeah, you know but, yeah, but like, elevated yeah, but with Nicki Minaj right um, the life cycle that it reached like her side as well because now in the beginning of her career she had a run in with Kim Yes. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, you know, I see so what's so happening. So the clock has turned in her regard. Uh, hmm. she, was, um, she is seen as that person uh, on the pinnacle, and then now there's a young. There's a young competition. Yeah. Even Dodger, Baba. Dodger Cat is yeah. coming through. Check. I'm so excited for her career. Like, um, I've been watching her work, I've been following, and I'm just like, this woman is actually a good rapper. Mm. She's such. And the fact that she's South African, I, I, she's South African. She's a South African woman for me, and she's just dominating up there without entering she's not she, I got not drama this girl she is the drama yeah. and that's what I was talking about when I said branding again like her branding you know if, she, if only she could speak Zulu ah oh, guys or collaborate with a South African yeah. hip hop head yeah. Yeah. who do you think Doja Cat should collaborate with in South Africa who do you think would who do you think okay who do you think could accommodate her even if it's just an artist doesn't have to be um um a, what you call it a, what you call it and a hip-hop head it can be like as java uh, java won't be able to accommodate that big zulu uh-uh oh like on on, on, on on a vernacular spectacular yeah i think aka also would have done a massive job with her if he had a chance uh, uh, uh. what do you think yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to picture like because now like in my mind I'm, I'm seeing her sound see right? it and, and and I'm thinking because now on a South African rapper level um I think she should she'd be able to do and also branding and, and and like the look and all that um she'd be able to do something nice with um even though uh, Muesli, uh the raps are somewhat questionable and all that yeah, but then Anna, I've never uh, I've never took an ear shame. Yeah, no, like, like, and like, I should. Like she's I. And I like, should. Like she's I, you know. Um, I think she'll get better. I think she'll get better. She needs. She's gonna get schooled, and she's gonna get better. Muesli is gonna rise up like the star she is. I swear. No, Don't. No, no. We're gonna come back to this day, and you. I promise you. I'm not saying any. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying. But say yes. One, but say gonna, yes for other people's careers. No, no, no. Hundred percent. Like, like, dude. Like. Thank you, overrides. Muesli here. She's a homegirl from Ben City. You know, Benoni. Yeah. Benoni people. Yeah. Shout out Muesli. So, so, love so, her, so, man. I got, I got gang love for her. Right, but then on a brand, uh, on a brand level, music video content level, photo shoot level, and even on a song level, because now like lyrically and all that, you could say they 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 are taking. No, they're not take taking. They're on the same like uh, situation. wavelength. Yeah, I see. So, so, so Muzli would be able to do the most, right? Um, and then if you wanna like blend um, uh, vernacular spectaculars, right? Uh, then you get someone like a D Koala. 
Ah. Uh, and, then, and then it'll be a thing of oh, like, true. Of, 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 of her putting a decoy on her music. Yes. And and, um, and and putting her out, right? As someone I found Komzanzi and all that, right? And then their collaboration will then put her onto um, Zanzi's situation. Because now, Shop, as dope as she is, no one's really checking for her like that. True. So, so do you think that artists should actually shoot their shot with these big cats because i don't think people have the guts to just you know um con- connect or get into the dms of um yeah. or doja cats yeah, well, and well, then i mean how many people shoot their shot anyway to start with with these big artists it's a lot it's a hundred thousand but like yeah. what are the chances of you being not you standing dog. out not dog like get your people to talk to her people Oh, it can't be you. Ah, dog, can't, like, it shouldn't be you, because now it's going to come off. Like, it, it'll come off groupie, yeah, and yeah, yeah, you'd yeah, be yeah. like, mm, but who are you? Where's your manager? Where's your agent? Who are you with? No, like, so, so, look at your numbers. Mm, so, no. so, so D. Koala should get her peoples to, to talk to her peoples so that they can do something, you know what I'm saying? So hip-hop, at the end of the day, is a team sport, guys. Listen, yeah. it's a team sport. You don't, you you are not gonna make it anywhere in any time without that money that Override said you need. How much is our starting budget? Starting budget, um, if you finna push like a single, man, um, I'd say um, even with my chest um, that um, what 20, 23, you no, know, oh, thousand. Yeah, dog. Um, Cause now, shop, you're gonna be running up these promotions there on social yeah. media. Okay, but it's not that bad. It's, it's not, not that. Not it's that, so doable. It's not that bad when you consider the output. True. Of, of such. So it's now, doable. So now, oh, 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 five steen at the station. Five steen at the station. Five steen at the station. Yo, guys, all I need is like ten plays. Just give me ten plays. True. And and the ten plays, obviously, by your Sam Rose and whatnot, will give you money. Kadi kabo December June and all that. Yeah. So now you get your money back to then run your next campaign whether you're pushing another single or a project true you feel me so um did you hear that Kanye West slapped somebody ah uh, nah who did he slap he slapped some guy because uh, he touched his wife yeah then he must get slapped then who's, whose wife is he touching who's Bianca saying sorry ah uh, no, nah, nah, nah. Nah, man, like, I didn't hear about that. Um, but what is up with these um, hip hop heads always getting arrested? Is it also part of the culture to get arrested? No, no, no. They, 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 like, do they, people get arrested on purpose so that they could also get um, numbers or what's going on? Because I feel like hip hop heads are so, guys, we quite crazy. bloody. For what? No, no, no. Um, there's an interesting interview I actually saw um, by, um, it was a podcast, and then they were interviewing uh, Ice Cube. Ice Cube was like, nah, dude, like, um, and I don't know if this for a fact, but then what he said was um, the same people that run the record labels uh, run the prison systems, right? No, so, oh, so you now, see. So now the music that comes out of the label should um, influence the person, well, not even should, but like the content that comes out musically, um, especially when you're targeting the black audience, should gear and program someone to actually not, not even to be, but then um, they will fall short and be caught up in the system like that. You know, so so that, that's why the songs that pop the most are the ones about ass, drugs, and, and running up on people, violence, and all that. Like, honestly, I think it gives a bad look to the, a culture that is so beautiful yeah. and creative. Yeah. You know, because like you were saying earlier on, there's so many elements to hip hop in general um, that even parents wouldn't want their kids to come into this culture because of all the stuff that we see on socials.